Welcome back to The Lead. I'm Jim Shudo. Crank up God Bless the USA and unfurl your American flags. That's probably what every single political co consultant told their respective candidates to do this weekend. But maybe more important, they told them to go to New Hampshire, where the first in the nation primary voters are living. Joe John's here with more. So, Joe, all the attention's been on Donald Trump, of course, but you have Marco Rubio, Chris Christie, Jeb Bush, Lindsey Graham, Rick Perry, all celebrating July 4th conveniently. What a surprise in New Hampshire. Absolutely. Yeah. And every four years, it's a ritual almost. But I got to tell you, Donald Trump is running strong in the polls, especially in the early voting states, even as the headlines this week have just gotten worse and worse for him. The Trump campaign says the controversy surrounding his business deals and his politics are two different things. But what's true either way is that Trump spent another week on center stage in the presidential campaign, taking the spotlight off of virtually everybody else in the race. The Trump campaign stuck in a tough spot between entertainment, business, and politics. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Corporate partners, including Macy's and NBC Universal, dumping him this week over his controversial comments about Mexican immigrants, joined by former beauty pageant contestants. And I think that it's extremely da dangerous to generalize a population um, and attribute such hateful comments to them. Even the network that picked up this year's Miss USA pageant after NBC and Univision dumped Trump dissed the Donald over his remarks. But I agree with uh, everything that NBC and Univision and Macy's are saying. I think those comments are ridiculous. Still defiant, Trump isn't backing down. So all I'm doing is telling the truth. Trump's fellow GOP competitors are also weighing in. Former New York Governor George Pataki at the bottom of the polls launched an online petition urging Americans to stand up to Trump and called on his Republican competitors to denounce Trump's words. Some have already done so. I don't think Donald Trump's remarks reflect the Republican Party. The comments were inappropriate and they have no place in the race. Despite the PR troubles, Trump's high-flying status in the polls could mean more pushback from fellow candidates. Now you have to do something to make the madness stop. And if you're a candidate, you've got to get your headlines back out there. And Donald Trump taking the news cycle every day of the GOP primary is bad for every other candidate. Trump has no public campaign event scheduled this holiday weekend, unlike many others running for the White House. All right, so we'll go over there together sometime. They include New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who will be overnighting with former Republican nominee Mitt Romney in New Hampshire. I suspect there might be a little politics discussed tonight um, with Mitt and Ann. Democrats are also hitting the trail. Hillary Clinton in New Hampshire today at an organizing event. I take a back seat to no one when you look at my record and standing up and fighting for progressive values. And just to give you an idea of how really busy it is on the campaign trail in New Hampshire for the holiday weekend, Bobby Jindal, Martin O'Malley, Bernie Sanders are out there tomorrow. Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, Chris Christie, Rick Perry, Lindsey Graham, and Hillary Clinton all hitting the parade. So uh, we're going to have quite a show in New Hampshire and Iowa. Well, about 16 months from Election Day. You know, they got to be there now. Yeah, right? I know. Joe Long Johnson. way to go. Thanks very much.